Am I gonna let a little piece of tape get in my way? No, I'm not. Oh, wow. Okay, this is, uh, I'm impressed so far. Ouch. That was my table. I need to stand back a bit. I just hit my table. Why is that chair moving? Hello, Mr. Ghost. I should go upstairs. See what's going on. Okay, we've got a gravity tool. This is Half-Life 3 confirmed. You heard it here, guys. Half-Life 3 confirmed. Okay, spooky room. Spooky pictures on the wall. And the piano is playing by itself. Really shouldn't open the piano. Really, really shouldn't. We need to turn on the power. Put the handle in this keyhole. Oh, that's really cool. If you wouldn't mind putting the tool in this keyhole. It feels like uh, the gravity gun out of Half-Life. That's it. Now, take your gravity tool that you're holding there and place it inside the barometer. You're all set! Now, all you have to do is pull. Okay, so we're going to travel somewhere. Hi guys, PD here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another new video. Today we're playing Torn on the Oculus Rift. This is the Oculus version of the game. I do have the game on Steam as well, so I will put a Steam Creator review up when I've done this um, playthrough. Let's go and check it out. I'm very excited for this game. What have we got here? Oh, Rush. Uh. Okay, let's do this. Let's dive into virtual reality. Torn. Okay, we're over an ocean. Wow, that waterfall looks really cool. Already I'm getting a really good vibe. Let's start the game. Got some nice hands. A quick look at the options, graphics, anti-lasing off, yes that's what I prefer, post processing on low, so everything's on low on my 1060, I'm going to leave everything alone for now, sound, controls, teleport up, turn left to right, standard controls, I'm going to have a look at the options menu, see what's in there. Extras, just credits for now. Okay, let's start a new game. Locomotion, do you want blink, dash or walk? I'm going for walk. Camera facing wedge behind the player, comfort turn angle. I might do 30 on there. Okay. I don't know anything about the game. I've not watched any trailers or anything. So this should be really new and refreshing for me. Okay, I'm in the woods. I don't know what this um, big blue thing behind me is. I don't know if you can see this on the screen. This is a front facing experience, so maybe that's just to let me know that I'm facing behind me. Okay. I think I'm a lady. Walking's uh, really slow. Can I move any faster? Wow, this world looks really impressive.
The uh, graphics textures are really nice. <gasps> oh wow! There's a an old spooky house there. Right, is there a room? Is there a room button? I'd like to move a bit faster. To be honest. Very nice environment so far. Really realistic. I do feel like I'm in like a wooded area. The sky looks nice. I can imagine this looks amazing on the highest quality settings. So if you've got like a 1080 Ti Crank this baby all the way up, and I bet it looks amazing. Let's have a look at these trees here. Yeah, I do feel like I'm moving really slowly. Warning, tampering with this facility is a federal offence. So we've got some warning signs here. I'm going through anyway. I'm really enjoying the environment so far. Hello? Hello? Anybody there? I guess not. Okay, this has reminded me of the old uh, Miss games. Those types of games. I'm really impressed with the um, quality of the graphics. And these are on low settings. I wonder if the um, teleportation method is a lot faster for moving. Right, I can't seem to get a speed boost. Oh, there we go. So if I hold down the right trigger, I get a bit of a speed boost. That's a lot better now. Feels like I'm walking more natural. Spooky. Wow. So I'm looking through here. What happened to this place? Right, he investigates any destruction or attempted destruction of this property or related. Notify the FIB immediately of any violations. Warning, beyond this point, radio frequency fields at this site exceed the FCC rules for human exposure. Okay, so there are deadly radio frequencies in this, in this area. Let's have a wander around here. I think the gate's locked. I'm really enjoying the atmosphere. The atmosphere is really cool. Look at this statue. Okay, so I think this is like a puzzle game. What's this here? So many crates. So many crates. Is that a clue? Turning rounds are uh, very fiddly. You only have to nudge the thumbstick to turn. I'm pushing forwards, but every now and then it will turn. So just be aware of that. Can I lift these crates up? No. There's some weird device here. It's got like oh, an... That's weird. 
Oh! Uh oh! Oh dear! Oh my God! It's an elevator! Oh crap! Oh, that Help. was cool. Great! Wow! Now I've done it. Hello! 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 <sighs> well, you're here now, Patterson. Start walking. I mean, even the leaves falling down added so much atmosphere there. That was amazing. I was not expecting that. That's what I like about VR games. I like to be surprised. Okay, so it looks like we're going through this way. Can I turn the radio on? I guess not. Warning. This is probably just decoration. Am I going to let a little piece of tape get in my way? No, I'm not. Oh, wow. Okay, this is... Uh, I'm impressed so far. Ouch. That was my table. I need to stand back a bit. I just hit my table. Okay, there's like a passage below me. Oh my god! Oh Christ. That made me jump. Aspire presents. Okay, I feel very small. Wow, there's so much attention to detail. You can tell you're getting a good game when you've got a really good intro. I'm enjoying this intro. Got all these weird machines here. Okay, this is clever. I feel like I'm in an action film with this intro. I think this is going to be something really, really special. Oh, we're back here. Torn. That was a really clever intro. Can I move? Wow, great atmosphere. Okay, microphone is live and recording. Let's timestamp this thing. It is March 17th, 1.15 in the PM. And I am at the cellar of somebody's mansion out in the woods. I'm not supposed to be here, but it's too cool. I couldn't resist. Okay, I've got a good feeling about this game. This is my type of game. Wow, this atmosphere. And these, oh, these cobwebs, look. I can touch the cobwebs. These are so realistic. I can see them hanging down from the ceiling. This one here, that, that's in my face now. I'm loving the atmosphere. I hope it's not a horror game. Okay, can I? Oh my God, it's like a mausoleum down here. Okay, mausoleums remind me of horror. I think I spoke too soon again. Oh, I've got some old records. Can I pick them up? The dance era, 1940s. There's got to be a fuse box or circuit breaker somewhere down here. Hmm. I don't suppose they're still paying their electric bill in here. Okay, this is the type of game to show people VR for the first time. This will knock the socks off. 
Right, we've got some old cine films there, an old monitor, an old old computer. Oh, it's the Commodore 64. I used to have one of them. Old clock, an old radio, an old gramophone. What's that? 16 to travel. So this is a puzzle game. What the hell is this device here? Holy guacamole, look at that thing! Okay, we've got an old deep sea diving helmet there. Nathy would be impressed. This is like Bioshock esque. Can I wear it? Nope. Oh, I just broke a bottle. Is this some old French wine? And what's in the chest? Wow, the graphics are amazing. This atmosphere is really, really cool. I've not had an experience like this for a long while. Not since some of the old... Um, that's locked. Some of the old AAA VR games, like Lone Echo. The last time I really enjoyed a game like this was um, Wilson's Heart, I think. There's an old tin. Peppermint tea. Right, so I'm looking for a fuse. There's a fuse box here. The breaker anyway. Can I just... There we go. Power's on. Okay, so that powers up. There's another Commodore 64. Let's check out the rest of this crypt. Oh. Make sure I'm facing the right way. Yes, this has got some Bioshock vibes. I'm loving the detail. The attention to detail is amazing. Uh, we're on floor B, so we can go up one or two. What do you reckon? Okay, we're going up a level. Wow. Very rarely do I get blown away in VR these days. What in God's name? <laughs> it looks like a machine threw up in here. Okay, someone's been experimenting. Hey! Oh, crikey. Sorry. Hey, who's up there? What's the big idea? Hello? Who's up there? Okay, that made me jump. So there's somebody upstairs. Why is that chair moving? Hello, Mr. Ghost. I don't think that's supposed to be moving. I think it's a bug. I think that's um, causing the chair to freak out. I can hear somebody walking around upstairs. I mean, look at this weird machine. Okay, I am in awe. I'm going to enjoy this game, I think. What's this? It's a schematic diagram of the RCA series, which is probably this machine here. Right, what's in here? I love the physics on these, um, on the cloth and everything. Look. Cool physics. I should go upstairs, see what's going on. Okay, we've got a gravity tool. This is Half-Life 3 confirmed. You heard it here, guys. Half-Life 3 confirmed. Gravity tool. Yep, Commodore 64. It says um, Commander 256. It's either Commodore 64 or that's a VIC-20. I had both, so... It's, it's a similar shape. Right, she wants me to head upstairs. Can I grab this off here? No. Let's have a look at this picture here. Wow, the artwork's really cool. I guess, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I just broke the painting. I was just admiring the um, textures. 
I'm stuck on the... I got stuck there a little bit. Right, the camera's telling me to turn this way. An old picture. I can hear the clock ticking away. Anything of interest on here? These are the types of games I like to just um, run around and explore. Smith and Sons. Or Sutton and Sons. Smith and Sons is a well-known brand. Okay, there's another device here. 062 Travel. I wonder if this game's got like time traveling in it. I can hear someone upstairs now. I like how you can interact with the, all the objects as well. That really adds to the immersion. Got an old um, old clock here. Right, is there anything behind this picture? Because the last one fell down. I'm just making a mess. We've even got cables through the floor. Okay, let's head up to the um, next level then. I've had a wander around in I'm here. I'm coming up. Coming up. Oh, that's down. Uh, wrong way. I'm coming up. Okay, let's have a wander around up here. See if I can find this person. Got some um, picture frames of boats, old sailing ships. See, little things like this add to the immersion of the games. VR games need more of this sort of thing adding. Power plant, that's that machine there. So it looks like this machine's a giant power plant. I've gone into com. I'm sorry, I just need to explore a little bit. I know I should be heading that way. I'm curious. Okay, does this um, gramophone work? Uh, broke it. We've got an old um, spyglass as well okay let's head this way then uh who's there uh, okay Hello? there are ghosts in this game she said right before the serial killer stuck a knife in her back uh, grab the golf club. So there are spooky goings on in this house, that's for sure. Things are moving on their own. See, some of our games would do one picture and then replicate the picture throughout the house. And these are a different lot. That's the attention to detail in this game. I mean, look at the stained glass. That's uh, really realistic as well. I feel like I can tap that. Okay, so we're heading down this way. The only thing I'm not keen about is this big blue diamond thing behind me. It uh, kind of breaks my immersion. 
There might be an option to turn that off. It might it might just be bugged for me, I don't know. Alright. Okay, spooky room. Spooky pictures on the wall. And the piano is playing by itself. Really shouldn't open the piano. Really, really shouldn't. There's two pianos though. Okay, we need to open the piano, don't we? Haunted piano. Whoa, what the? Oh, hello. Finally, I'm free. No. There's a light. Oh, I'm dizzy. Hello. You do speak English, don't you? I do. do oh, that's really cool. The door for me? That's a really cool effect. Okay, let's open the door. What kind of insane asylum have I stumbled into? Sure, that's it. I'm crazy. Gotta be. I'm in the loony bin where I belong. Okay, follow the light. Where's it going? Going back down the lift. Down we go. That's the stuff. Down, please. That's really well animated. Okay, down we go. What floor would you like? He's behind me now. This way, madam. Take a look in here. Okay. Stupid locks. These pins should be easier to pick. Not bad, eh? Take a look. I've got the, um... Well, there's something you don't see every oh, day. Oh, cool. <clears throat> I've got a torch. It's easy to use. It's not rocket science. You'll be glad to know. Just point the handle, pull the trigger, and lift up. Okay, it's got different modes to it. <laughs> oh! Good. Now put it down. Check. Okay. This is like Ghostbusters. I've got the. Uh... You can push and pull objects around using the control disc. Control Grab the object with a beam. Push and pull. Hmm. Oh, this thing. Got it. Got Use it. the handle to find more of. Well, more of me, basically. <laughs> I don't know if I can handle more of you. <laughs> Very funny. Point the handle at the object. If it wiggles, most likely there's something trapped in there. You can set it free by lifting it up. So far, so good. Now, point, point the handle here. Right. Put in there. If you wouldn't mind putting the tool in this keyhole. We need to turn on the power. Put the handle in this keyhole. Oh, that's really cool. If you wouldn't mind putting the tool in this keyhole. It feels like uh, the gravity gun out of Half-Life. Okay, I can't spin around when I'm holding this device. Hey! Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, now pull down. Now left. Now, up to lock. Okay. Um, what's happening? This is good. Very good. Just follow. You have got to be kidding. How about that? Isn't she a beauty? This is the room barometer. Each light represents a circuit, see? When all the circuits are fixed, all the lights will be on. Jeez. For a floating piece of dust? You sure do know a lot. You don't know the half of it. Now, come on. I've got a secret I want to share with you. Secret? Whose secret? Well, you'll see. Come on. Okay, where are we going? Look at the floor. I see a floor. No kidding, genius. Now, use the tool. And remember what I said about secrets. See the circuit? 
You can fix it. Oh, yeah. That will turn on the computers in the nook. Use the handle to move objects into the glowing sockets. I see plenty of junk around here. Will any old thing do? No. You need the right thing. You're looking for a hidden circuit symbol. That's the clue. Look here. See the symbol? Sure do. Just yep. put this into the socket. Okay, spin that around. Oh, there we go. Hallelujah, it's awake. Now we can load some data. Over here. Look at the floor. I really like this mechanic. So we're looking for an object that fits in there, which is this one here, look. Spin it round. Okay, so I need to spin that round. That's right. Now, this next request is going to sound a little odd. <laughs> oh, really? As opposed to everything else you've asked me to do? You're going to need to power up a... Well, a headdress. A what? Just humor me. What do you think I've been doing all this time? Okay, you can turn around with the left thumb stick when you're holding this device. So it wants me to power up. So I'm looking for these symbols. Put that in there. Spin it around. That's it, keep going. Okay, so let's find all these symbols. One going up here. Upstairs. So I need to be heading upstairs. Let me just check, there's nothing else down here. I need to, what's this one? That wants to go somewhere. Right, so there's plenty of objects down here to use. I think I need to head upstairs. Jump in here. If you get stuck with a puzzle, give that button on the side of the tool a squeeze. And I will see if I can help you. If you decide you don't need my help, just press the button on the side of the tool to let me know. I should keep my thoughts to myself. Okay. All right, let's see. It looks like this socket needs a straight connection. Yes. This one here. We're almost there. Spin round. One goes in there. That's right. How are we doing? Good. Now I can show you something really special. Don't suppose you've got a pot of gold lying around here for me, you little leprechaun? Okay, let's head back downstairs. It works. Try it on and see. like it will fit you. Try what on? Oh, there's something in there. Did you see this over here? Take a here it is! It's nice, all right. What are you waiting for? Put it on. Why? Some sort of what helmet. For? You'll see. I'll be over here. I should definitely not. Yes, that's a good girl. Don't be a creep. Why am I doing this again? You'll see in a moment. Now, make your way to the room barometer. Can you see it? This one? Room barometer. That's it. Now, take your gravity tool that you're holding there and place it inside the barometer. You're all set! Now, all you have to do is pull. Okay, so we're going to travel somewhere. Oh, I'm in the ocean. Oh, there's a... It's all right. What the hell? You've had a shock. Stop! Who's Stay that? back! As you wish. 
am I? What are you? Nowhere, I'm afraid. Who's there? Who's talking? Talbot. My name is Talbot. Talbot. I can hear you, but I can't see you. Is this a camera? Can you see me? Yes, I can see you. I'm right here. I can but see you. All I see is a light. That light is me. I am the light. I'm seeing things. I must have hit my head. <laughs> this is a bit out of the ordinary, isn't it? Tell me what is going on. Of course, I'll do as you ask. If you'll grant me one favor, do you see that gravity tool in your hand? Yes. This thing? There's a button on the side of the tool. Would you press it for me? Squeeze the grip to release the lights. Oh! Huh. Ah, oh. uh, yes. That's better. As I said, my name is Lawrence Talbot. And I built that tool you're holding. The hell you did? It's true. And it's my house you've been snooping in, my dear. I'd tell you more if I could. I don't remember much of anything, frankly. But those lights, they have an effect on me. They seem to help me remember things. I'd very much like to know what's happened. I, I don't suppose you could bring some more to me. This isn't happening. I'm hallucinating. You're a figment of my imagination. I'm not. I'll prove it to you. How? Do you know how to get out of here? No. no. Well, I do. So clearly I'm not you. Well, aren't you going to ask? Ask what? How to get out of here. Oh, yeah. Yes, I'm asking. <laughs> you see that machine there? Yeah. You'll find a control panel there on the base. Insert the gravity tool into the panel, and it will function as a sort of lever. Pull it down, and you'll be returned to the mansion. <sighs> Thank In there? God. But I don't understand. If you know where the exit door is, why are you still here? Because I'm not going anywhere in my current condition, I'm afraid. But you can see that I have some information that might be useful for you. And I'll know more, a lot more, if you can bring me those lights. Why don't you go and come back and then we'll chat a little more? some kind of AI. It can't be a person, right? Holy shit! Make your way to the cellar. Cellar? Isn't it spectacular? This device connects the house's main power supply to the rest of the mansion. I wouldn't fiddle with the settings too much. Something might break. Yes, this is where I would do my calculations. Or feed them into the machine, at least. The machine is quite slow, but very reliable. And where we were going, that was more important than speed. These cables get kinked up or damaged from time to time. <laughs> One time a squirrel got stuck in there, had to pull it out. I couldn't bring myself to tell Rena it was frozen solid. Okay, this has got a really cool portal, Half-Life vibe to it. I'm really impressed. Okay, so what do we do now? Do I go to the... Look portal? at that! A CRT monitor! These cathode ray beasts really stand the test of time. Russian scientists were innovating these things as far back as 1907, if you can believe that. Okay, do I head upstairs? Boy, these tape machines sure take a long time to load. You completed all the circuits in this room. 
Okay, so I press the help button there. So let's head upstairs. Look at these ingenious velvet seats. Nice to take a load off, eh? Let's check upstairs, check all the rooms. Right, I've not been through here. There's Okay, there's something walking around up here, I'm sure there is. Like a ghost or something. We call this the bridge. It connects the main library to the house. We added it during one of our remodels. Architectural snobs weren't very happy with us, but Sodom. It was very practical. Watch the cables there. I've tripped over them more than once. You wouldn't want to go down face first in here, believe me. I want to look through this door here. I've not been this way. Locked. Okay, well, the game's really, really smooth. It looks amazing. I'm really, really impressed. This is the type of game I can really get into in VR. Okay, uh... Come take a look at this over here. When you see a square like this, it's a secret pressure plate. You will need to put an object on it to trigger it. Once all pressure plates are loaded, the circuit will be activated. Okay, my light is making things move in the room lock. Just the light. Oh, didn't it say something about if they... If they wobble... They are probably... Used for the puzzles. Okay, some circuits here need. So I'm looking for a square. Square objects. Okay. I need to activate this old piano. So I'm looking for objects with a square. Oh, that's a circle. I don't want circles. Let's move all these out of the way. Right, there's a square here. Good job. Okay, what we found here. Nice work. Of the chair. Okay, so it wants That's me to it. keep going. Right, it wants me to cover the squares up. Grab the big box, pull over there. Good job. We need one more. Will this do? That's right. S sort of. Take a look at this. This is a big pressure plate. You will need a really heavy object to trigger it, or several medium ones. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, so grab the old radio there in the corner. Well done. On there. This is quite fun. So these are pressure plates. <laughs> right, so I need to be a bit really heavy on there. That's not enough. Well done. Is that activated? No. We're almost there. Needs to be nice work. Okay, I need that object over there. That fits in one of these grooves here somewhere. I have fond memories of this room. Rena and I would throw a Saturday party together and invite all the stars in a social firmament. Usually we would have a band or 
haunting me. Oh, you're figuring it out. This needs to belong to Rena's mother. It sounds sublime in the right hand. Almost there. Okay, so what's missing now? The big chair on there. I think we need more pressure on there. Done that one. I am. Okay, where does that want to go? In there? How are we doing? Where's that going? Right, these one on the wall. Will that fit on? No. That one there, that should fit on the wall. Oh, try this small one actually. Try this one on the wall. Will it fit? Yes. Okay, just down here to do then. Can I move the painting over there? Okay, we did it. Okay, let's see where this leads us to. And that's a cool effect as well, all those little bubbles. Why is there a forest down here? It's one of my reveries. Memories of a past time. I've learned that I have the ability down here to bring my memories to life. So I do. I have to do something, you see, to keep myself company. It's a bit lonely down here, day after day. I bet. Hey, here's your medicine, or whatever. Give him the lights. <sighs> oh, oh, God! Whoa! 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 Rena! Oh, Christ. Stop! You're scaring me! Give me more, now! She's here, in this accursed place. But I don't know where. She could be anywhere. I have to help her. I have to get out of here. I have to find her. This is my fault. It's all my fault. This is terrible. God! Rena! Stop! Calm down! Uh, I apologize. I'm all right. Let's keep going. All you have to do is press that button there on the side, and the lights will be released. Rena, yeah. my wife, she's here. Where? But look around. It's madness. There are no physical limits here. She could be anywhere. I could spend a thousand years searching for her. I need your help. Go. Gather all those lights, those memories as you can. Come back when you're done. I, I can't help her until I know what's happened. Okay, some people are saying this is like the Twilight Zone. And when you're in an environment like this, I have to agree. Okay, this is really cool. I'm going to head back to the mansion and then I'm going to quit the video. This is insane. Maybe I should just get the hell out of here. Yeah, but... If people knew about this, it would blow their tiny little minds. Maybe I've hit the jackpot. I gotta be smart about this. Figure out how to make this work for me. And the blog. Think, Patterson, think. Okay, I'll just play along for now. See where this goes, 
Listen, Patterson. Do your best to remember everything. Keep recording these audio logs. They'll help me write up the story later. Make your way to the cellar. Okay, guys, I'll leave it there. Hope you enjoyed the video. This has been really, really cool. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to hit my little bell. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.